all the generation from the electromagnetic theory and everything, you know, you saw all this thing, you know. This cannot be one. But because we are defining the wave function over here, there is nothing, no pre-existing theory for this thing, and we are defining it, so I can put k equals to 1. I could have put this constant multiplied by minus 3.0, blah, blah, whatever over here. I could have, but I'm, I want to make it simple, I just put it equal to 1. I, this is my defining, I'm defining the equation, I can put this constant equal to any one. That's why it's one. Now the bottom line is, whatever I do here, ultimately, I will have to show experimentally that this is true. So that's what it is. <clears throat> so where are we now? All right. So, <clears throat> so I can say, I want to say that the quantity Good, we have 10 minutes more. So the quantity, uh, this guy, the wave function psi, and it's gonna be a function of x and t, you know, naturally. And for delta x, I'm just gonna write it dx, okay? So this is, so this is equal to the probability of finding a particle Um, at at time t and at coordinate at a coordinate at some x you know in the range x to x plus dx. That's what it is. All right. So, okay, that's what it is. So remember, this is the probability density, and this is the probability after you multiply by dx. To get the property, you have to multiply by dx, this is the property density. Now, <clears throat> now the probability of finding an electron and electron <clears throat> um, anywhere From minus infinity to plus infinity, it should be one. We should be able to find the electron somewhere, right? So we say that from minus infinity to plus infinity, psi, and I'm going to write it as a function of, must be equal to one. And this is called normalization condition. Your wave function, by whatever means you find, must be such that if you integrate it over the entire space, it should be equal to 1. And if it is not 1, you force it to be 1. So this means, this simply means, I'm going to erase all this. So what it means is that um, the probability is 100% that the electron is 
somewhere. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> That's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video, and then I'm gonna start another one and just complete this thing because I don't want it to become too long. It's 33 minutes, so. That's what I'm going to do.